Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our regular community hangouts. Uh, today we have only one, but pretty much interesting topic to share with you and to discuss with you. Myself and Gabriel, we will share the news. So let's begin. Okay, um, Stas, will you share your screen or would like me to share? Yeah, I believe it will be more convenient if you will share it. Sure, one second now. Okay, let me know when you can see it. Yeah, yeah, we can see it. Okay, good. Um, so, hello everybody. Um, my name is Gabriel and um, today we will be sharing, myself and Stanislav will be sharing some um, news about a new delivery channel for the community contributions. So uh, before starting on talking about this um, new delivery channel, um, I think it's important to talk about a tool that will be used on this um, new channel. Um, some of you guys may be familiar with it. Uh, it's called Magento um, Quality Patches. So as often used um, and referred as um, MQP. So um, MQP was introduced last year. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have the chance to, to use it, but uh, was designed to distribute um, quality patches uh, for Magento customers. And it is available, I think, by default, if I'm not mistaken, on uh, for cloud customers. So it's already part of the EC tools and you can use it um, on your inst in instances, um, but it's also available for on-premises customers and you can install uh, via Composer. Um, and also what like what the tool does, it's basically allow the customers um, to get the latest available patches, um, select which one are required for their Magento version and install them. The usage is pretty simple. It's a, it's a command line. So as you can see on the on the print screen um, that uh, I have there, um, there are some other commands. You can check it out on the on the repo or dev docs. There are also documentations about it. Uh, one of the commands, for example, is status, which um, shows some details about which patches are available for your um, Magento version and which ones are applied on your instance. So this one I, I took from um, a cloud that we use and some of the patches were already applied. And um, you can also uh, see some patches that are not applied and you can apply them and so on. So you basically it's uh, it's a tool to manage your pa the patches that are available from the, the support team. So <clears throat> some highlights of this too, basically it's pretty easy to install and um, it's just like a composer package. And it can be used by cloud and non cloud on premises customers. And it gives the um, allows the customers to have access uh, pretty quickly to core fixes. So sometimes um, these fixes um, will be part of the next release, but you know, releases takes a little bit of time. So um, if you want to get the fix a little bit earlier, these two will be um, the way to go. Okay, so talking about the new delivery channel. So um, we'll be starting with this new delivery channel introducing to the release line of uh, 2.3. So here on this example that I will use to explain this um, new um, contribution channel, we will take as an example the, the release 237. So I will make some comparison with the, the current process that we have. Uh, well, for 2.3 release line, currently we do not accept contributions, but I will make some comparisons to the process that we have for the 2.4 release line because it's slightly different. So um, first of all, uh, we will have the community that will report an issue for that version of Magento. So as the usual, same same template that we use currently on our um, contributions. Uh, from that issue, after being um, confirmed, um, a developer from the community will create a pull request that fixes that issue. Um, some of you guys may be aware we have a pretty uh, extensible test suite that uh, tests several areas of the application, and the pull request will be tested by that uh, by those automated tests. 
Um, and all the tests will have to be green. And then we'll move to the next stage where um, pull request is verified by maintainers. So our maintainers will just analyze which changes are, are being made on that um, and approve it or request some changes usual process so far. So until this point, there's really no difference from the current uh, contribution model that is being uh, used on the 2.4 release line. So on this one that is being introduced recent, we will, it will be introduced uh, soon on the 2.3 release line. Here's where some changes happens. So um, the release notes will be reviewed by maintainer. So on the pull request, uh, there will be some uh, release notes which will basically describe uh, what the patch, what the um, pull request is fixing, which is the issue, with some more details or like a sentence, something like that. So maintainer we are, will be also responsible for reviewing that. After that happens and everything is fine, the fix is fine, the description and release notes are fine, tests are green, um, maintainer will approve and will kind of trigger the merge button for that uh, pull request. So that's when it will kick in some automations that we, we have been developing. So um, the pull request will be merged and uh, will be converted into an MQP patch. So um, that community patch uh, will be automatically push, published to the MQP pool, patch pool. So um, if you like try to run um, status command from the community, the MQP command line, you will be able to see the patch that has been merged uh, recently. So, um, and the merchant will be able to apply that patch on their um, Magento version 237 in this case. Um, so some highlights on this, um, the community fix um, are delivered um, to merchants in this case as patches. There will be this integration uh, with MQP and Magento Cloud in this case, and um, and the patches are delivered and handled by the community. So in, in, in this example, in this new contribution channel, there is no intervention from um, internal team. Um, the community can handle the process by themselves. Now um, let's talk about uh, some pros and cons of this model. Uh, let's start with the pros then. Uh, so potential support for any Magento version, as mentioned previously, we are starting with the 2.3 release line um, and the community can patch any supported Magento version. So currently that's not possible. We do not have any uh, intervention from the community on the 2.3 release line. Um, streamlined delivery process. So fixed uh, delivery process will be supported by community maintainers and boosted by 10 times. So um, as you may be aware, some uh, I, I see some um, contributors here, um, our delivery process takes a little bit of time. Uh, it is a complex process. There's a lot of people working on, uh, on the monolith. It's a big application, so it does take a little bit of time. Uh, so with this new process, it will be way faster for the um, community to have access to those fixes. So here we are, we are empowering the community. Um, so the maintainers uh, will be empowered to accept uh, these contributions. Um, critical fixes for business. So ability to apply only necessary critical for your business fixes and apply them as soon as they are ready. So um, as mentioned previously, as, as soon as the patch gets merged, um, it gets uh, available through MQP, so it should be pretty fast for you to have access to those fixes. Uh, it will be a unified experience, so supported um, integration with MQP, integrated with the Cloud EC tools. So for the cloud customers, they will have um, MQP already uh, installed on their instance, so they don't need to install anything really. Um, so yeah, that's very good. Um, and automated release process. So all the packaging and new MQP version, it's uh, will be uh, done regularly. So we there will be no intervention. It's everything automated. Uh, and some cons of this specific um, channel, there will be no direct core contributions on this uh, with this model on the the release line 2.3. Um, so community cannot deliver fixes directly to Magento Core. 
but that doesn't mean that community will not um, contribute to the core with those fixes because um, our team will still uh, keep an eye on those and um, some of those fixes will be incorporated into um, the core, the ones that are really important in this case. Um, there's no cumulative patches. So at the moment, uh, there will be no guarantee on multiple patches compatibility. Patches are tested individually. So um, we highly recommend you to, before applying any patch, do it. Uh, MQP actually already does this recommendation. So if you read the docs, you will see, uh, but um, we recommend you to apply the patches in a stage environment, test everything, and make sure they are compatible if you are using more than one community patch, which may be some cases. Um, also, no general refactoring, test coverage, or cleanups contributions. So um, community won't be able to deliver general code refactoring, and, um, and this kind of contributions uh, will not be possible through this model, but they are possible on the current model that is being used on the 2.4 release line. So this is the overview, uh, basically, of this new model and some pros and cons. Um, so yeah, I, I will pass now to, to Stas to continue talking about the community maintainers. OK, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, could you please go to the next slide? Uh, so guys, uh, I believe you definitely know about our lovely maintainer team. Maintainers team, we have uh, a lot of really active community members who are helping us a lot with pull request review. Uh, on like this current slide, you may see all the activities the guys are helping us with, uh, like handling a lot of a lot of stuff there. So first of all, they're reviewing the code uh, on the public like public GitHub repositories uh, in scope of different projects. Like the main project is definitely Magento too, but also we have a lot of other projects like MSI, Adobe Stock, so maintainers team helping us uh, in like all of the projects. So also they are helping us to triage the backlog. We have public meetings uh, for the triage and guys also helping us to triage some really like interesting, uh, like uh, interesting and uh, high priority issues. So also we have quality assurance maintainers who are helping us with issue verification. Uh, like they are providing some feedback to the contributors, trying to verify the issues, uh, like clarify the steps and so on. So like in the end of this process, we are we will have like issues that are ready for the development and like any developer can pick up it and start to fix it. So it's basically, really good issue reports that are ready for, for pickup and development. Uh, also, guys are like up to date with our uh, guidelines, with our requirements, uh, our processes, and like during the code reviews, they are following all the processes and guide contributors how to properly develop the code, how to, you know, deliver the code, explain the processes and so on. Also, a huge part is uh, support uh, in scope of public events. So during the contribution days, during the hackathons, uh, maintainers team helping like all the contributors to start the, to contribute to the Magento for like first time contributors. They are uh, like helping to uh, understand the processes, uh, like to clarify some development details and so on. Uh, also, like we have we have different communication channels in scope of Magento project. Like the first, maybe like the biggest part, it's a GitHub. So guys providing like support us to like in collaboration on the GitHub, on the forums, on the Stack Exchange, and so on. And like in addition to all these activities, the guys already already providing for us. Uh, we will grant them those permissions to deliver community fixes right now in scope of MQP, MQP2. So, like, <clears throat> uh, maintainers team will review the contributions and will be able actually to deliver such contributions to the MQP team uh, as a patches. And as Gabriel mentioned before, 
uh, we will have automated packaging process for the MQP tool. Uh, right now we are planning to package, uh, like to have the new versions of the MQP tool uh, daily. And uh, let's say once the pull, pull request, uh, like some fix uh, will be delivered today uh, to the MQP patch, it will be available in scope of the new version of, of MQP tool tomorrow. So it's it's really like uh, a fast way to deliver and actually use the fix. Uh, so like merchants who are like struggling with some some issues on the production will be able to like get these fixes as soon as possible. Gabriel, can you move please to the next one? Uh, yeah. Uh, as Gabriel mentioned before, uh, it doesn't mean that we will not accept uh, community contributions to the core. So we will constantly monitor all the patches that are, that were delivered to the MQP tool and the most critical patches, the most uh, useful patches will be incorporated to the core itself. Uh, and like the second, the biggest part is joint development projects. So in scope of joint development projects, uh, community also can contribute to the Magento core. Uh, what is joint development project itself? So as a really good example, examples, we had uh, such projects as MSI, as Adobe Stock, security package, uh, and so on. So we already had a good experience with such projects when we have predefined backlog. Uh, from the, let's say, Magento side, Adobe Commerce side. Uh, and then, uh, like, such projects always contains, like, from the, from two parts, is internal team, internal Magento team who will support this project, providing some backlog, explanation, designs, resolving the questions, and so on. And the second part is, of course, community members who are willing to contribute uh, to this project and work on the issues from the, this project backlog. So like, like we had, let's say, with the MSI uh, projects will be fully supported by the internal team and will work along with the community on some features, some new functionality, and so on. Uh, recently, I believe last week, we already announced the new project. It's called Platform Health. So in scope of this project, uh, like a lot of dependencies to like third party libraries, some technologies uh, can be updated. So we really need, need your help there right now. And also we will have more projects in the like, next few months. Uh, we will be announcing them and yep, you will be able to join them and work on those projects too. Okay, I believe that's it from our side. We have 10 minutes left for questions. Come on, guys. Hi. Yeah, I can't see any any questions on the chat. The Microsoft Teams chat is isn't great sometimes. I'm trying to check on my phone. Any any questions, guys? Anything is not clear or needs um, some clarification? Okay, I believe we have the first one. OK, um, let's start then. So the first question was, what was the announcement today? So um, we were announcing about uh, a new contribution channel. Uh, we will share the recording of this meeting later, so you'll be able to, to watch it fully. Um, so going to the next one, some MQ pet MQP patches don't make it into the next release. Will this be changing with this process? Uh, yeah, then could you could you please clarify? Does it mean that like some of the patches uh, that like exist in scope of MQP tool uh, were not delivered to the next Magento version and exist in MQP tool only? 
Uh, yes, so sometimes there's a patch that shows up in the MQP tool that takes one, two or three or sometimes four minor versions until it lands in an actually released version. Is, is, that, is that changing with this process or is this process going to be supplementary to the existing MQP? Uh, yeah, in, in scope of the community patches, uh, like process will remain the same. So the most, the most like high priority patches that were delivered to the MQP will be incorporated to the core. But some of the patches that are not not so critical, let's say it's like low priority patch that can affect only, I don't know, let's say one percent of the merchants. So most likely it will not be incorporated to the Magento core and will exist uh, as a part of MQP2 only. But still, like every merchant who is struggling with such issue will be able to apply it uh, via MQP2. Okay, cool. Thank you. I was mostly asking about if we need to change our process in terms of reviewing all the MQP batches that come out. But it sounds like we should continue reviewing them all individually for all of our merchants. Thank you. Okay, um, next one from Navar. Um, so you said that with the new delivery channel that refactors and so on could not be submitted. To clarify, is this new delivery channel the only delivery channel for contributions? Uh, so uh, as, as we mentioned before, we will have like uh, uh, several delivery channels. Uh, first of all, it's joint development project. So in scope of the projects, uh, all the core will be incorporated to the, to the core. Uh, and in scope of the patches, uh, it means like we cannot accept, we cannot accept the refactoring, some cleanups, because uh, to be honest, it doesn't make sense to deliver such uh, contribution as a patches. So let's say uh, some merchant uh, with production store will apply refactoring. It doesn't like change functionality at all. And uh, like it doesn't make sense to apply such patch because it will add more complexity and will not resolve any functional issue. In case if some refactoring will bring, let's say some performance improvement. So yes, in this case, it's definitely worse to have such patch and you know merchant can apply it to improve some uh, performance of some scenarios and yeah it definitely makes sense so it's the same for the cleanups uh, it doesn't make sense to apply patch on production environment that will fix uh, dog block because it doesn't make like really sense because it doesn't change uh, functionality at all and it's like strictly development experience uh, that like can be avoided on production environments. Okay. Um, any any other questions, guys? <laughs> okay. Um, if no other questions. Um, I would like to thank you all um, for participating and joining us today. Um, again, if you have any questions later or anything that come up, I think I just received one new message. What will happen to currently open pull requests? Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah, would you like to handle it? Uh, so firstly, um, as mentioned, uh, we are opening this new delivery channel to the 2.3 release line. Um, so there's no open contributions to 2.3, so that's that's not possible. We are still processing at the moment. We are still processing um, contributions to 2.4 release line as usual for now. Would like to add something, Stas? Uh, yeah, like as Gabriel mentioned, we will open to 237 for for start, and then we will consider to open like other releases uh, for patch deliveries as well. Let's say like 241, 242, and so on. And yeah, like all the all the contributions can be targeted to these releases as well. And yeah, we will be processing to look for develop as usual. Yeah, and one more question from Dan. Um, it was suggested these are regular meetings. There's only one in the calendar. When is the next meeting? 
Um, so these Hangouts, I believe they, um, well, a lot of people from uh, internal, they speak on it um, and we just, uh, I think we announced it one week or so before the, the next one happens. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, Stas. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And usually we have like one, two meetings per month. Uh, and yeah, we are trying to announce it like several days before the meeting with agenda, with the speakers and so on. Uh, also, I will share with you the link to our community portal when you ca can find uh, all the information about community hangouts, about previous meetings, about upcoming meetings. So, yeah. And also, of course, you can you can add the calendar and track track the meetings in scope of the calendar as well. Yeah, yeah. We also uh, use Slack and Twitter at the moment as um, communication channels to um, publish when these events will will happen. So um, stay tuned. OK, guys, um, so if no, no other questions, um, thank you all for participating and hope you have a nice day, nice evening and chat to you in the next one. See you guys. Thank you. See you.